The Cebu provincial government standing pat on its optional face mask policy in a defiant move yet again. Our Cebu-based correspondent, Dale Israel, joins us live for the details. Dale, what can you tell us? My, despite the calls from Interior Secretary Eduardo Año to continue implementing face mask rules, Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia will continue with her policy. Now, she's signed an executive order which makes optional for people to wear masks in well-ventilated and open spaces in the province. In a statement this morning, the Interior Department refused to recognize that said order and maintained that the IATF guidelines were approved by the president. However, Garcia is counteracting that by citing a section of the local government code which gives the national government only up to six months of direct control over the health operations of the local government units in case of a pandemic. On that note, the IATF has already surpassed the period and should need the concurrence of the LGU concern. Garcia believed that the local autonomy as stipulated under the local government code should prevail over an executive order which created the IATF. Let's listen to Garcia's statement. It is that we believe it's about time that we rationalize and put some common sense in the wearing of face masks. This executive order further defines when face masks should be used. Not when you're in open, well-ventilated areas. Now, Secretary Anyo added that the Philippine National Police should still continue to, quote, confront, apprehend, and arrest, if necessary, all violations of the IATF guidelines in Cebu province. Garcia, on the other hand, called on Cebu Police Provincial Office and insisted there will be no apprehensions on the face mask rules. She said, if there are violations, just like before, give them masks instead. Now, the governor cleared that the, poli or the local policy was not born out of, quote, capricious whim, and that every decision she makes is anchored upon existing laws and, more importantly, upon keen observation of the situation here in Cebu. Back to you, Mai. Thank you, Dale Israel, there reporting. The health department.